UK actor Honeysuckle Weeks tells court she drove drunk to avoid being forced into a threesome. Girl, don't I know that feeling. We've, British, all, been there. we've all been there. British actor Honeysuckle Weeks. That sounds like a porn name. Confessed yeah. in a UK court Tuesday to drunk driving, but said she only did so to avoid being forced into a threesome. The Foils War star was more than twice the legal driving limit when she was pulled over around 7.20 p.m. on November 28th after a night out in Arundel, West Sussex, about 65 miles south of London. Weeks was invited to stay at a friend's house for the night, but after fearing she would be coerced into having sex, she opted to drive off, she told the Worthing Magistrate's Court. An off-duty cop watched the actor back her Honda CRV into a parked car and leave, but return almost immediately. The defendant drove off from the scene before returning 15 seconds later. The vehicle was stopped and the police officer realized the driver was drunk. So that was that's where it went wrong. Someone watched her backed into a car. Yeah, I thought, like, what does that mean? Were you going to forced in? Was she going to be raped? No, I mean, it's just that, you know, that feeling where you feel like you're about to be roped into a three way. You're hanging out with people, and you're like, "Uh-oh, I see what I see where this is going." I, you know, I do. It's the best fucking feeling in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what are you fucking running but away? I, from? That's what I don't understand. Is like, when you before you have a three way, you always know it's never like out of the clear blue. It's that's rare. It's like there's usually yeah. like batting yeah. and flirting beforehand. Like when you're hanging out with the people, it's it's usually like they're putting it out there. You know what I mean? It's never like, "Oops." We all ended up hanging out together on a bed. What's Surprise three way. Yeah. Or maybe yeah, she just really, backed out. Maybe she was into it and then she backed out. Right. Like if your guy, your girlfriend's already making out with the girl or something first, then she's kind of got an idea what's going to happen. Yeah. Maybe this is just like her doing a woman excuse. Or the way, you know, what's the best way to get out of a threesome. Pretend to pretend to fall asleep. And then that's not going to be fun for anyone. Oh, I disagree. It doesn't stop me. Pretend that you have a really bad gag reflex. You're like, ah, I can't suck any dick. (laughs) Well, you know how Don Terry has got out of a threesome? He drank a milkshake. Oh, that's that's another great way to get out of a threesome. Just chug a milkshake (laughs) and wait 15 (laughs) minutes. Uh, what do you think his flavor milkshake was? Chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry? From I think I think he went for vanilla. You are absolutely right. Because it's the best flavor. You know you're Dontarius. Mm-hmm. People shit on vanilla, but like vanilla is actually like a delicacy. Vanilla is actually like if you have an elite palate, you go for vanilla. Chocolate is like for commoners. Chocolate favored things. Well, Alex, Alex ordered a strawberry, and then for Dontarius, he ordered a chocolate because he assumed he wanted the chocolate. Dontarius said no. Wow. He assumed that Dontarius wanted chocolate? That is so racist. Absolutely. I was Actually, offended. it would have been racist to like assume he wanted a grape soda <laughs> <laughs> or a pineapple soda. I think he, uh, he, did, he did have... He did order two drinks, Dontarius. He ordered an orange soda and a uh, shake. Oh, wow. Wow, he could have made like a creamsicle, put them together. Yep. That's pretty neat. Okay, yeah, I think this is an excuse. I think this threesome excuse is not legitimate here. Uh, The officer stopped the car and took weeks to a police station for a breathalyzer test. After she was unable to take one on the road, she was found to be more than a and double the no i think she just was like biding her time hoping she would sober up on the way to the station she found to be more than double the legal driving limit weeks 43 pled guilty to driving under the influence but said she only did so when she felt a man and his lover were going to pressure her into a menage a trois that she wanted no part of i was expecting to stay a, a night at a friend's house in arundel but the man in question invited his lover to the property and i was in danger of being coerced into sexual actions with them which I found extremely unwelcome. Why would you stay over a man's house and not think that sex is going to be part of the deal? Even if you're just, if it's a guy friend, it's still a little sus. It, it's, oh, and he's, and also, why would you think if his girlfriend was coming over that that's yeah. more likely you're going to have sex? Yes. Or like they're going to have sex in your general area. 
I mean, no, no. I mean, like, it, she might be just, she was probably wasted. And I don't think any of that was going to happen. I think what happened was the girlfriend found out this girl was at his house and said, I'm coming over to sleep with you to make sure you don't fuck her. Oh. You know what I mean? Wow. And she, yeah, who knows? She, she, been, she could have been flirting with the guy and that this three-way story is her way out of like, oh, I didn't flirt with him. In fact, I thought you guys are flirting with me. In her drunk mind, this was a great, yeah. perfect excuse. I wasn't trying to it. fuck him. They were coming to fuck me. I am. Mm -hmm. Like bravo! I just and I just made that up on the fly. Can you believe it? Yeah. Yeah, that whole story sounds bullshit. I'm thinking the girlfriend of the dude found out. Oh, she's drunk. She's gonna stay here. And he said, yeah. "Listen, my girlfriend's coming over." Because she's like, "Fuck! If you're that girl staying over your house, I'm right. Over. Nobody wants that." And and then uh, she, you know he's like, "My girlfriend's coming over," and then she's like, "Oh fuck! I'm." I was here to fuck this dude. I got to get out of here. Yeah. Wow. I thought it was going to be a surprise. Or you have to just lean into being drunk and like maybe just really act like I'm so drunk and I'm so like the girlfriend yeah. comes over. You have to be like, I am so sorry for getting this drunk. Like you have to apologize and like stop acting slutty if you were before. Like you yeah, got to yeah. just lean into being the drunk girl. I'm so sorry. I owe you one. I'm going to take you guys out when this is all over or something like that. That is, that is also not the way three ways go. It always no. goes like with the two girls have been flirting all night. If they're making out, then shit's going to start happening. Right. It doesn't happen like, let me call my sleeping girlfriend up. Wait, yes. Browse, the girl in the relationship. Yes. The girl in the relationship is the fucking linchpin. She is the linchpin of the she's three way. The, if she's yeah. not into it or facilitating it or going for it, it's not happening. She's the quarterback there. She's calling yes. all the fucking plays. That's it. So then you what know? is the guy? What position is the guy? And then what position is the random girl? You know, uh, the, <laughs> the random girl is the wide receiver. <laughs> uh, but it's... Doing anal. <laughs> it's, but it's like, yeah, the, the you know, the girl's pulling all the shots. Like, that's just the way okay. it is. Right. You're not like, hey, you know what would be good? I got this drunk girl at my house that I could fuck. You know, maybe I should wake my girlfriend up and get her over here. Yeah, no. To, yeah, that's a fucking disaster. Or maybe this was just like a cheating plan that totally fell apart. Who knows? It, it, it was bullshit. Darth thinks the guy is the running back. As soon as you say the name of the girl that's sleeping at your house, you're, the girl, the other girlfriend's gonna be like, she's a porn star. Exactly. What's her name? Like honeysuckle, fucking. Yes. <gasps> right. I forgot that part of it. She's um. Well, she's an actress. Her name's Honeysuckle Weeks. <laughs> honeysuckle <laughs> Weeks. Darling, a... is uh, Honeysuckle Weeks is very intoxicated. And must stay <laughs> I just wanted to run it by you. Is it all Why right if Honeysuckle Weeks allows your PJs sleeps on the couch? But darling, it's for Honeysuckle Weeks. She starred alongside Michael Kitchen in the British TV series Foils War. You keep her away, Roger. I'll be right over. You keep that Honeysuckle Weeks away from your dick. <laughs> Fuck if she's sleeping there. I'm coming over now. <laughs> Motherfucker. It's about to be a Honeysuckle month when I'm done with her. She told the magistrate that she needed her car to drive her son to school every day, but she was ultimately banned from driving for 20 months in order to pay small fines. Weeks additionally agreed to drunk driving courses. She should agree to stop being a slut courses, uh, which if completed would knock 20 weeks off her driving ban. She told the court that she was no longer staying at a low security facility in Chichester, West Sussex for treating people. Su oh, so now she's at a rehab too. Um, uh, for treating people for drug and alcohol problems. In the day of Uber and just apps, there's yeah. no reason for fucking drunk driving. Like, none. You know what I mean? The only time she I did. like allow drunk driving in my mind is like in town, like at a neighbor's house, going back to your house, like ten, you know, five blocks away. Like, yeah, I don't care if you're honeysuckle weeks. There's no excuse for drunk yeah. driving. 
uh, weeks previously made headlines in 2016 after she suddenly vanished in West Sussex. Let's read about her suddenly vanishing. Okay, this was back in July of 2016. She vanished. See, I feel like she's a low-key slut, and she makes bad choices. She was missing. Um, let's see. She disappeared. What? Oh, my God. You're cutting out. Oh, she had anxious behavior. She disappeared. Why did she disappear? They literally just said, oh, she disappeared because she was anxious. Maybe she had postpartum because she had a one-year-old. She was already banned from driving and had a child in the back without a seatbelt. Okay, so she's a hot mess. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A, what school is she taking a one-year-old to? That's uh, not even nursery This age. was in, 20, in 2016. She had a one-year-old. Honeysuckle Weeks. Oh, <laughs> Who the fuck is she anyway? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm like okay. really intrigued by her now. I feel like if like some point today somebody says, quick, name three actresses, I'll say honeysuckle <laughs> weeks. And I wanna, yeah. I have no idea what she looks like or what show she's been on. Oh yeah. Honeysuckle weeks is my new safe word. <laughs> my safe oh, word my is God. keep going. So she so she vanished in 2016. This girl does not have an a good track record. She always comes back. Yep. Okay, wow. Her family, let's see. In 2015, she was caught speeding in southwest London with her young son in the back of a car, not wearing a seatbelt. And then she was banned from driving at that time as well. And after that, she was ordered to wear an electronic ankle tag and had a month-long curfew. So she's a hot mess. Yeah, I feel like when boyfriends break up with her, they just, like, drive her to the woods like that kid in AI. Yeah. Yeah. She's they just got, leave them there, like the anytime, robot. Kid. Anytime I have like a really messy like moment or weekend, I'm gonna be like, I just pulled a honeysuckle weeks. <laughs> <laughs> what TV show? Or like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of a situation and be like, you guys are trying to have a three way with me. That that's called like pulling a honeysuckle weeks, <laughs> like, <laughs> accusing people of a three way. They're like, what? No, we're not. What's up, Anna? Hi. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. God, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Don't even get it. Bye, guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.